Hi, Dr. Pelto here. Uh, I'm going to give you a little uh, view of the Good Feed Store. And uh, this was an article that was written by one of my colleagues, but I liked it so much I want to put this into a, uh, a video format. So in, in Shrewsbury, um, once again, we are located in, in Worcester and we are lo located in, in, in Westboro. And then recently there was a, something called a Good Feet Store that opened up. It's now in central Massachusetts. And for many of us that are medical providers, we're, we're concerned about this uh, because they're welcome in the community and we want them to have success. Uh, but we thought it's, it's important that our neighbors and friends and especially our patients understand what they do and how a trip to a qualified podiatrist is actually different in, in many different ways. I have patients coming in now since they opened up this, this uh, good feed store, come in and, they, and they've gone there and they maybe say, oh, you know, it's not for me. Or they've gone there and they've, they've, they've purchased um, some of these uh, inserts that they have. And, and then they come in and, and I tell them they need either a different one or it's not the right one. And so I just want to kind of clarify something. So first of all, uh, at the Good Feet Store, there's really no medical training. Uh, they're they they are they're they're great people. Uh, they're arch support specialists, so they're not required to have any medical training, uh, and they guide people to to get a support that's best for you. So in their fine print, it's clear that they're not providing any medical advice or treating any disease or condition. So if you're looking for a diagnosis and treatment of an illness. Uh, a doctor of podiatric medicine is probably a better place to start. Um, I would avoid going there. I find patients that are just almost in dire need, those are the ones that are going there. They can't, maybe they can't get in to see someone for a week or two, then they'll go there. And because they're in such pain, I, I find many times that they, they purchase things on a whim and, and they're, and so that, that can be a challenge. So to see a, a podiatrist, it's probably a better thing because there's if, if you don't know the education, there's a four years of undergraduate education, four years of medical education. Uh, I'm sorry, four years of undergrad, four years of medical school, and at least a three-year surgical residency. So let's talk a little bit about the inserts that they have there. What's the difference between a personally fit insert and a custom fit? Okay, so what what the what the Good Feet Store offers is a personally fit arches, and so in in many ways. It's, it's kind of like going to buy uh, clothing or a suit. So specifically, you can buy a suit that's off the rack or you can get a custom made suit, okay? And a custom one is different. So off the rack, you go buy stuff off the rack, it might fit, might not. But for a custom one, it's something that you have to have a tailor make it. They made it specifically for you. They, they, they don't just modify something off the rack. They actually make it custom for you. And it's the same thing. When we make orthotics, um, we make something that's custom fit. We use a 3D scanner or a digital scanner, and then we, we make it for your foot. So it specifically is going to contour your, your foot and feel better. And then we can make any modifications based on that. It's like going to the tailor who's going to make you a suit based on your geometry and the best material for your activity and for your needs. And that's how we make the orthotics. Um, one of the challenges with the Good Feet Store is that just because you can get it in a day, and it doesn't mean that it's the best thing for you, your feet or your medical condition. Our orthotics can take two to four weeks to be ready. And that's one of the challenges for the patients, right? They, they want everything quick these days. And um, we frequently make them uh, and they take time because they're custom made for you. They're made out of carbon fiber, which is a very durable material. And the manufacturing process uh, takes a long time. And so I like this analogy of a custom suit versus just an over-the-counter suit. Uh, the, the second thing about uh, orthotics versus just an, uh, a custom in, insert that they get off the counter is um, they, 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 um, they don't really make it clear about the price of theirs, uh, their inserts, their non-custom inserts. Their website won't talk about it. it it's, they try to discuss and find out what it is. Uh, but you have to go there and be fit before they're going to give you any information. Now, we want to be clear that if patients, if you want to have an orthotic and know how much they cost, you just call the office and we'll tell you uh, what is the amount. Uh, ours typically cost uh, 550 for a pair. And, um, and that, that's the price. And if you call, we'll give you that. Um, I've had patients that routinely come in for a single pair of the, uh, this, the Good Feet store ones for $800. And usually most get a combined version of a dress and, a, and, a, and, a, and a maybe an athletic one for about $1,500. Many times they're getting shoes as well because they do sell shoes there. So that's, that's about maybe three times the amount of, of ours from a medical provider. And so even if you're paying for a medical visit, and getting the orthotics, it's going to be less expensive. Um, so you should seek medical 
advice, I would think. And there are some other, the other thing I want to talk about, if you are looking at an over-the-counter one, uh, you might want to consider some other options. We frequently recommend over-the-counter. Uh, I like, um, there's Superfeet, there's Power Step, there's Spenco. I like the Walk Hero one, and they're all under $50. And we recommend that patients go to a shoe store and also try shoes because many times you don't need the insert. I would recommend getting better shoes first, and then you could try an over-the-counter insert. So the good shoe might cost you 120. You might get a, a $50 insert, but it's certainly not going to be $800. And realistically, you could buy six pairs of shoes and a, and a, and a high quality over-the-counter insert before you even get to that price of the 800. So you have to know what you're, what you're buying. Uh, so there are other alternatives for you. And um, I, I think we, we welcome them. We want them to succeed, but I just want the patients to know I have many patients that come in and they're, they're struggling because they've spent all this money and they're frustrated. And then, you know, there's a, there's a, a no refund policy. And uh, so with custom orthotics, we do stick behind them. We'll make modifications. And sometimes we even refund if they, if they don't really fit or work. Um, so with, with custom orthotics, it really depends on the patient. So hopefully this clar clarifies a few things about the Good Feet store. Um, I'm going to put a link uh, to the uh, article underneath this blog, if you want to read the whole article that uh, my, my colleague uh, wrote on this topic, but I thought it was good, good for you to know, and just uh, a buyer kind of beware. And there are some other over-the-counter alternatives that are less expensive. And if you need a custom one, I would go see a professional about that. Okay. Hope this was helpful. Thanks.